Good morning all. A little bit crazy. Some new software has put us live a little earlier than we anticipated. So, hello and welcome. Using sprays in our mixed media projects with stencils and paste is the focus of today's live stream. So let's go ahead and now that you've been watching our intro for over 15 minutes, I think, let's go. Seriously? Here. Yes. It's been a real interesting morning. Oh, the wonders of technology. They never see. <sighs> there was an update yesterday, and I was like, oh, things are a little different. Ah, oh, Christy's here. Hello, Christy. Hello, Christy. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. Now I am getting the chat in here, so that's pretty interesting. So some of the updates, very good. Some of them, very scary. Because we okay, were like, I oh, saw live. I pop up. Who is that? Oh. That's Lisa. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Lisa. Oh, we didn't do our... Hello, I am Mariah M. Hello, I'm P. PM. Patricia. PM okay. Artist Studio. <laughs> She's the M. Still learning technology. Yeah. Oh, seriously. Very okay. seriously. Yeah, I'm going to move this down a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like that. That's okay. a little better. Okay. Look at us. Looking like we're looking into the camera. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm always looking at what I'm looking like, you know, where I'm looking. Yeah. It's very difficult. <laughs> I don't... I, I know so you stare into this little thing, and then I know I'm looking at you, and that's probably way better for you guys, but then I want to see what's happening with my face. <laughs> oh, no, I can't really... I, I just kind of know that I'm there because... Oh, how do you like my shirt today? Oh, wow. I know. I'm very... Uh, let's see, I have, up. I've spent a lot of time prepping, more time prepping for this oh, video. Oh, Petra's than... here. Good morning, Petra. Sorry, guys. I know that we popped in early. Again, we're just technology. And I'm waiting for my friend Karen <laughs> because Karen was very interested in seeing how the spray booth was constructed. And it, it, it's it's crazy like simple. Shirt. Thank you. <laughs> she can't read the chat. She just sees something pops up. I know. Yeah, I can see when there's there's movement there, but and it's early morning, so my eyes are not quite as good, and I may even have to have Mariah read my. And like notes. I said, we you know we were still looking at about another twenty minutes. <laughs> I can I can see large pieces of things, but yeah, until the afternoon, I'm really not a good. <laughs> You know, fine. I, I don't do fine lines in the morning. I wait till the afternoon. This but I have spent a lot of time prepping for this the whole week off and on, really. And yeah, well, and you've got a lot. You, you had a lot of prep time available this week because the weather was nice, so Izzy could go to the park. Yes, with her pops. I am not crazy about this eyeshadow. I'm just figuring out that it's you're low. not crazy about no, it. No, I'm not. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. That's okay. what happens when you do makeup in the dark. <laughs> I, there, are, there are advantages to losing your sight. You don't see spider webs and, you know, no, let's crummy, be on, crummy let's bits be honest. here and She there. never saw those things anyway. <laughs> well, that's true, but now at least I have an excuse. <laughs> Before it was just called denial. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> you know how important is that? Uh, well, on the scale of things, okay. not very important. All right, let's 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 talk sprays and such and things. Okay, well, Mariah's supposed to let me know when Karen shows up, because I'm not... I will. Karen, if you're out there, you got to let us know in the I, chat. I know, but... She may not know how to work the thing, so... No, Karen, I think she, she she's knowledgeable. She knows... Um, All right, would you guys like to see some things that we're actually going to do today? <laughs> or would you like just to have you a want to chit chat chit -chat for the next 20 minutes? <laughs> talk about... Really I'll cut this part out stuff. of the video. <laughs> Here at 10, we'll redo the intro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. It's and like, then that way, okay, when I... This is just a warm-up, folks. <laughs> <laughs> You've come for the pre-show. <laughs> this is, yeah. We don't get charged for this. This is this is like the... I guess I can put my eyeliner on now. <laughs> before the... Before, you know, what do you call it? It's the, the previews. Pre I know. At the, when you go to the movies, you know, like when oh, we well, actually used to go on Oh, well, this is a terrible trailer, and people don't want to watch it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, you can just ignore the first 15 minutes. Fast forward. The warm-up act um, is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I could talk about my earrings. You see my earrings? Oh, Christy says she loves this part. No need to cut. <laughs> well, well, we'll see. I, I can only wear these earrings. I might have to take them off, you know, mid-video because they're like... 
five pounds. Oh, well, they're not. They're pretty substantial. They are. You know, and after that, after having that on, I can't do earrings like that anymore. I barely could do it back in the day. I, I really, you know, I'm, as long as I'm busy doing something else. But I can't I even have, have nail time. polish on because I can't, I don't, I, I feel like I can't breathe through my fingers. <laughs> oh, I, I will apologize speaking of nails. My, my nails. Hey, she's been busy doing the arty things. I have been busy doing sprays and let me tell you what. Sprays are kind of hard on your hands and. You know, if you're one of those people who likes pristine nails and everything, I recommend purchasing a box of rubber gloves, especially if you're doing blue. Cause blue oh, yeah. Would, blue and this stays. Is, you know, I, I did. I scrubbed the crud out of it. I even used... Yeah, your thumb's still a little blue. And I used the cleanser stuff, you know, that you wash the and sink I just, out. Yeah, I noticed I didn't even put my hat on today. This is like, you get to see scary hair. Oh, well, I, ju I just jumped out of the shower, so I, I'm We not... were really organized until we weren't. And, and then... And, and, yeah, <laughs> and I'm in the bathroom, like... I'm like, can you hurry? Because, uh... I said, good heavens, I've got lots of time. <laughs> no, you oh, don't. Mm -hmm. We're already live. But anyway... Anyway. I don't know. Should I talk about some of the stuff that I did last week? Sure. Let's do that. And that way, you know, people won't feel... Let us know in the chat how the uh, video and now, the audio, because I'm kind of curious, like, if with their updates, or do I need to turn the audio down a bit? I don't know. It looks like it's kind of going high, but I don't know. I don't know these things. Uh, we, we don't usually know until we get feedback yeah. from you all, so please don't. <laughs> until we watch it back later. <laughs> say, yo, <laughs> could you please? That's just this nice video. Okay, video and audio are good. It's perfect. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank we you, do thank appreciate you. it. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to pass these over tomorrow since we're not double screening it and we want to. Oh, you want double screen? I can do that. Can you no, double screen? No, all that's still here. So this was the other thing yesterday. All right, so the, the software that we streamed through did an update. And I was like, things are just not. I had to re-log back in. I didn't know how to do that. I had to get Brad back in here. He was showing me. And then... But now we can run everything through the one dashboard, which is fantastic. But when I re-logged in, I did it through my personal YouTube, and so nothing was there. So I think that's what P is alluding to, is yeah. that she thought that it was still not there. So we can still do. Yeah, I, I went off and did something else while the crisis was occurring. I, I don't See? usually like it when... There you go. Um, Look at that stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I want to show you this right now, Mom. But I want to be careful because I've already lost my notes once today. <laughs> we had. I, I, I mean, I, it's I'm been serious. like it as soon is. as as soon as we hit the live thing and things started getting crazy, it just really was like, oh goodness, oh 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 goodness. <laughs> okay, so here's my little spray booth, which I'm just going to keep up there right now because I'm going to definitely use it later. Okay, I don't know if I showed this one or not. Did I show this one last week? Um, maybe. It's like this for a, a second. Com okay, oh. you've got to scoot over here. There you go. Well, <laughs> well this is better for me. <laughs> well, that's where my face is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. I can move it, though, I here. Can, Hold okay. on. Hey, watch this. I think I'm really kind of digging these oh, updates. Oh, please don't get us. Don't On mess the fly? No, oh, don't. don't. She says don't no. touch it. If it's I can good, move just, the box. I can, I can move over because, you know, things happen. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get it. Petra says we're all good in the Netherlands. <laughs> Excellent. What time is it there? Isn't it like 6 or something? 5 a.m.? P.m. Oh. Crazy lady. I would be a lot better at the p.m. No, she wouldn't. Let's be that, honest. That, I mean, I would be. Well, it depends. If it was a day without having to take care of the almost four-year-old. Oh, this is true. Then sure, yeah. But a full day of that just <laughs> really wipes your brain out. <laughs> can you see the texture on this? This is a, an, oh, here, you can see it better on this side. 4.45 in the evening. Ah. Well, what, do you, what are you having for dinner tonight? <laughs> Come on, let's talk about food. <laughs> this is what happens in the pre-show. <laughs> this is what happens in the pre-show. Okay, I've already talked to you about Grace. And I think, you know, Mariah... You just showed that thing, and then, like, what what's... Like, it's a stencil. Thank you. It's my revamped stencil that I went through. Is this, Oh, the, this is the one she loved so much that I... My very first one I made for her. Cut for her. But you see all the little pieces? Well, those are just really, like, really tiny pieces. So I went through with the 
teeny tiny scissors and cut out so they were bigger. And it works much better. <laughs> I came upstairs and she's like, my hand really hurts, but I think it was worth it. Because <laughs> uh, it hits right there on my, on my <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so it was a... And I'll show you the stencil later because it's a really heavy duty stencil. I've used it a lot, so it's got a lot of stuff on it. Well, they've probably seen it in pictures and stuff because it's one I like to use because it's really pretty. Okay, I, I love this stencil a lot, and you will see it a lot. And here are my little, my dots. Oh, good morning, Robin. Yes, we you missed it, but we're, we're having some, the, the software people, they updated things. We just things talked and, about our makeup and hair and clothes, so and, you uh, didn't miss anything. Yeah, so it's been an interesting morning. Let's just say when you hit live over on the streaming software, you now actually go live, where before you kind of had it like a double opt-in. Well, no, it is just a single opt-in. And then I didn't want to trash the stream. Because if I would have done a restart, then a lot of you guys that, you know, had reminders and things. Anyway, that's the technical yeah. end of it. Mom says I over explain this sort of thing, but. Yeah, well, you know. Are, are, are we on time now? Is it time that we can actually go, go? Go, go. Now it's like 947. <laughs> well, you can go, go. I think, you know, we've got a lot of our. You know what I need to do, Mariah? Our, Mar I don't our even crew have, here. These I don't are, have my paints here. Why don't you have your paints here? Were you going to haul them over later? Um, I don't know what I was going to do. I was so into just pulling the prints that would go show you the stencils and how they <laughs> looked. You know, this is how my brain works. Well, And the very obvious thing that we really need, you know, like the colored paste. Hello. Well, we're doing the um, sprays, sprays first. Oh, okay. According to my um, agenda here. Okay. Have you show, shown the stencils? No, should I do that? Yes. Okay, we'll just go ahead and do that. So we'll just give you a little overview since we are early here. We're going to be showing stencils. And I'm going to keep this. And little... then the various products that we use to cut the stencils. And I even printed that out this morning. Then we are going to go into using the stencils with the sprays. Then hopefully transitioning a little bit into... Um, catch papers and things because P has done, like she said, she's done a lot of work this week. So some of it has to dry before you can kind of move to the next level. So hopefully this is a lot like the cooking show where we kind of have yeah, things at different. The pie, pie already cooked. <clears throat> We're just gonna pull it out of the oven and hopefully you know it hasn't exploded in there or something. Yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> yes. Okay. So, well, this is a great example because this has everything. Christy asked if we made the stencil. Yes. We have made every single one the of these. The only stencil we didn't make is the one I showed you at first, the corally thing. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Did not make that one. But I do, I am in love with that one. And I actually use sprays to color it. You know, I just put it in the cap and used a brush and brushed it on there. But isn't that nice? This is my gel plate pull and then I just stenciled the white thing on there with the white I, I can't tell you which one I think it was <clears> probably the and a lot of you guys have probably seen this in a photograph or two with it just being white but maybe you didn't realize it was there but yeah it has been in okay, a couple now, of photo shoots to figure out what I'm going to do with the stuff that I'm done with okay now this is an excellent example this is you can see the stenciling here with the modeling paste you can't, do you see these? Those were the big circles. And I just came in with, uh, I don't know, some, I mixed up some ink in a cap and did away with the big circles because I thought they distracted. I always hated this white edge around this one because it Do a little side hold, please. Didn't have any, a side hold? Yeah, there you go. Because okay. then. Now, Mariah just has to tell me that because I don't really know that. But it's, it's a multiple pull gel print but it still just lacks something so I used I'm sure this is um which is trying I'm to trying to think what color this is oh it's this. the Seth after the the green yeah what is that color that's oh, yeah. such a cute cute color cute so cute <laughs> it is and look at how it's spring just, green Yes, I well, I'm we are very, both very fond of this. Uh, and Mariah asked me if I could please start. 
Brittany with another color besides the lime green. Oh, well, she had the lime green acrylic paint, and then we're using a lot of the Seth after spray i'm like everything's green and then she's been adding some shiny things on stuff so some of it looks like she's <laughs> not i and i was so offended <laughs> she was i did not talk to her for at least 45 minutes last <clears throat> night because she told me that it was she didn't like what i did. her feelings were hurt it, it was and i i'm not i'm i'm not gonna fix her stuff for her i think my camera i think the the thing has flipped too because remember i turned that at one point and so now it's back to the weird opposite all right just some things Why i gotta work do that I, they reset their whole thing i gotta okay now i think this this is an example of sprays where you sp spritz into the cat and that looks really cool paint she didn't off. show this to me she said she had some other things that she didn't want to show me after i told told her yeah. that things look like I snot gonna, i was gonna give her a preview <laughs> but she was ugly about my Okay, so these, you can see, this was a print, and I just tore it down the middle. So this is what it looked like. <laughs> this was before. This is before. This is what it I became. I just love that. That's amazing. See, that's see. Some cool oh, she got rid of the white stuff. Yes. Hmm. We talked about that last week, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's my favorite set. Oh, and this is going to be a real challenge to get... <laughs> <laughs> it's very We're, shiny. Oh yeah, hey, you dug that out of the bag. I did. <gasps> uh, I've dug some more stuff out of the bag that you're probably not going to be happy about. I did some massive filing because this one over here just she piles. That's how she she's not a filer. She's a piler. <laughs> I'm a filer. If I pile it, I can find it. But if I file it, I, it's like it's you not know, true. I lost our Christmas decorations for two years once. Okay, now this is this is the lovely <laughs> tissue paper with a, one of the stencils. Um, it's the thumbprint one. And I think we've been showing that yeah. thing for two weeks. We've got to do something with it today for sure. Oh, I didn't even pull that one. You might have to go and find it. But here's the lovely leaves that well, are No, wonderful. I'm saying that like you need to do like put some color on these oh, I am going things to do today. That. I am going to do That's that. That's what now, I'm saying. See, I'm putting the color the ones I'm gonna work on right over okay. there. So don't let me forget that. Lisa is also a piler. Yeah. Well, if I can see it, then I know where it is. I don't see. No. If you put it away, and you consistently put it away in the same place. But I learned a lot. Robin's also a piler. Okay. See, really creative people are pilers, right? Yay. Give me a thumbs up there. Oh, hello for Silver Penny Artisan Roses from Niagara Falls. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, been so there. I, Silver I Penny, is it Penny? We need a, we need a name so I can call you by your name because that will be really hard to say each time. <laughs> okay, so. We're, we're having a struggle this morning anyway. <laughs> we are. We started live before we were aware of it. Yeah. And we, and we were still walking around. And and we're going to be talking about it all stream long. I'm really sorry for you people that were in here early. <laughs> <laughs> well, if there's any repeats or whatever. Okay. Rosie. So. All right. Hi. Hi, Hello, hi, hi. Rosie. This here started out like this, just with the stencil. And then I used the sprays. What, paste? I think that's the U.S. Okay. Art Supply, yes. right? Okay. Yes. It, unless otherwise specified. <laughs> because that's my go-to. I've used up almost that whole thing over there. Oh, It's goodness. almost all gone. Well, is that... Well, that's canister one, because weren't, weren't there two? Yeah, but you may need to find it for me, because I, I don't think I did. I might have to just go ahead and use light and fluffy, which I like light and fluffy. We like light and fluffy, too. Okay, so you can see the possibilities here. The spray doesn't necessarily stick so much to the modeling paste, so you can kind of count on that. But then I say that, and then I say, okay, then we come to this, and if you have used... The blue spray, <laughs> or it comes through. I mean, this goes on white, and everything looks, you know, la di da, lovely. But all of a sudden, it just comes now, up. Now this is just this is brayer <laughs> off. So that paper. would be acrylic. That's, that's acrylic. why nothing's pulling through. That's why nothing's. But look at that down there. Can you see the shiny? Mm. Isn't that beautiful? Is that the iridescent stuff? This is iridescent plus gold. Ooh. It's like both. I know. A double shine. A double shine. But now look at this. Isn't this wonderful? And this is brings me to my new stencil, which is actually on the... Oh, yes. And that's got lots of oohs and ahs over there in the... Um, what was it? 
Seth's group? Seth's group. Yeah. Mariah did this for me, and I wanted to talk just a little bit about... We tried um, to miniaturize this one, and it has not gone well, but... It hasn't, but, you know, we have... <laughs> We're work, we have some other ideas. Yeah. And I got my new blade, so... Yeah. By next week, hopefully, I will have some new information on cutting stencils via the Cameo 4 yeah. versus the Cricut, which Christy just cut. She cut some beautiful stencils yesterday. And hers worked fine. Well, I don't know. Christy, if you would, in the chat, let us know, like, what um, material you used. And she's also a lot better and probably more patient with her Cricut than I was. <laughs> and I, I just, I, I look at it, you know, I don't do anything. No, she doesn't. When you're making your stencils, leave yourself a little border. And I say this because I have borderless. <laughs> but when you are using your paste, your gels, whatever, it's a nice place to put your stuff down so that you can pull it across. Oh, see, I didn't even think about that. That's how I really... didn't think about that either, but I Hey, just Lisa, we it. may be able to, um, maybe we can work out a deal or something, because, I, I mean, I have a, a cricket in a box, so let me know. We'll, we'll talk later in the, you know, private chat. Okay. All right, so this is the stencil, and I need to put this someplace where I'm not going to um, Christy it. used laminating plastic pouch stuff. Laminating, hmm. Lam Christy, yeah. laminating plastic. Pa oh, that stuff's thick. Because the stuff that runs through the laminate, like the heat laminator. And then, um, that's interesting. Did you cut more than once? I, that's the other, you know, did you have to run it through a couple of times? That's my, my other, because I'm telling you this cameo for everything I've had to cut. I mean, even just regular, like, cardstock stuff that would typically cut pretty decent on the Cricut. Um, Explorer 2 just isn't, I don't know, I'm struggling, people. I'm struggling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well. Okay, did you say Lisa was with us? Lisa is with us. Okay, Lisa, do you see something? Oh. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I really screwed it up. Ah, um, oh, good morning, Carrie. We, we got started a little early, so you really haven't missed it wasn't, anything it wasn't crazy. On purpose. No. New, new streaming software <laughs> update. You can now stream, like, directly. When you say go live, it really goes live. <laughs> I mean, not, you, you, not just West it's, really, it's really what you want in your software to really mean what it says and says what, you know. <laughs> okay, I wanted to talk about this. Before it didn't. <laughs> can I talk about this now? Um, okay, well, we did. Showed your stencils. Okay, here, here are the stencils. Okay, now All we're right. getting to stencils. Now, when I was looking at this, really what I wanted to emphasize was the negative space. But what <laughs> came out was the telephones. <laughs> and it just drove me absolutely bonkers. So I cut I my, like the pattern. I don't mind that at all. I, I don't like it. But you know what's really nice? Look at this side. You really need an invert. Well, we're going to do some sprays on this just to see what happens. Because... Lisa did send us, a, I, I love the blue, by the way, Lisa, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, I'm telling you, we're loving, loving, loving Now, that here's the little wax te dyed paper. telephones that were removed. <laughs> She's so crazy. <laughs> she, she, she watches her crazy shows and whatever, you know, okay, language she's watching that week. I don't know. I, was it a Danish show? That last? I don't know. Sometimes I can recognize the languages, but... Not always. She and reads the subtitles one, anyway. The last one I watched was... Um, All right, you got to get the shiny thing... Out of the way? Out of the way behind it. Do you need something? No, I need a... Here, hold on. Hold a piece of... I, it has to be colored, because... I can do that. What color do you want? I don't know. Something contrasting. All right. But dark. Blaring. Here's pukey green. Or you want purple. Yeah, give me this one. This is okay. going to be more better. No better. Because you'll be able to see the strings. Okay, there we go. Okay, so these little guys all popped out from... I really want to pull that camera a little bit further, but... Uh, these all popped out from the inside here. So don't throw those parts away. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to use strings or whatnot, but, you know... 
you can just you can glue them down to a piece of paper and run your brayer over them and there's there's a nice little you know whatever there but i just really i haven't printed with this yet lisa you should put a put a link to your etsy store i don't, I don't think she has any right now on there but um tell me if i'm wrong lisa <laughs> now here's another one that i did okay this is this is the stencil this is what was cut out she she made this fish too. She hasn't done anything with. I can't she built find a, the fish. I don't know what she built I the think fish. Mariah hid my I fish. She does things like that. Yeah. She thinks they're ugly. That's not true. Wow, wow. Mariah, she needs to have more coffee. Did you take your nice pills? No, it's way too early for that. <laughs> it's her vitamin. Okay, here's she I don't needs know. her vitamin. There's not very much contrast there, so I don't know if that's gonna. That's show looking up. pretty good. But anyway. There, that's, slide it over, just, yeah. Okay, See, there you sorry. Go. If you'd move yeah. your box a bit. Okay, how's and that? And hey, Karen, if you're in the chat, or if you're in the stream and watching, yeah, you we need, need you to just... let us know that you're here, because P really does want to talk about the box, but she said she was going to wait until you were here, so. Yes, because I, I promised you that I would, and I, I like to honor my. Because I'm sure that we are, pa yeah, 10.02, look at us. All right. Oh, wow. You know, that, that are some nice contrasts. There, should we do our intro? <laughs> Shop all that other stuff out. All right. Now, I want to talk about this very quickly because <laughs> if you're doing gel plate prints, it's one thing. If you're doing stenciling, just spraying, spraying on or scraping on, it's, an, it's quite another. So, here's what happens when you see this. All of these loosey goosey pieces. Oh, in Robin there. says your thread stencils are genius. Thank you, Robin. I thought they were too. Mariah just laughs at them. <laughs> I just, them. I just it funny. cracks me up that she spent so much time putting them together. I mean, they work brilliantly. It's it's a wonderful idea. It's just, no, I, I just think know. it's funny the things that she will like spend time on, and then you know, others I'm like, nah, I don't want to do that. You know, like the fact that it's a hot mess up here in the studio. Cleaning makes see, you ugly. I'm going to see. I wouldn't be that. able to do a string project like that oh, with, with the peripheral of crazy around. That's just what I'm saying. Here's here's the new and improved. Do I have to dig it out? I can just hold yeah, it like that. That's the one that she had cleaned up yeah. and, and made some of those holes wider. That was our originally original printed, and I can't. That was like on acetate, wasn't it? That that heavier. Yeah, I, it's not. We don't like using it because it. Well, a, I it like doesn't using it for a stencil. I don't. It, it's a bummer to cut out because yeah. I don't know how many rounds Mariah went. And here are my really expensive, <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> they kind of get. I, I put them back in before they're completely. Yeah, dry. see, that's a mistake. But look at that expensive stencil there. It's you a know hole you, punch. You need to do is we need to create little bags like with um, wax paper with the you know the cookie sheet stuff that you can slide them into, and then and that I can way still see them. And you can kind of keep them together. You can still see it, or just that you know paper to put in between them. <clears throat> okay, when you're doing these, always leave yourself a little place to hold on to while you're doing this because <laughs> I'm serious. I have learned the hard way. That. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> now this I just flop down and I don't really care. I mean, I, I muck it up. But I, I think I, I... And I love that when it kind of ends up looking like um, a lot of found object stuff or like the little... Yeah, it's pretty... It, it looks good and grungy. Isn't, yeah. isn't this some wonderful stuff Well, there? no, I was just talking about like when you actually use it. It, oh. it, it looks like, you know, when you... You used to have some of that, that, that graded... The, oh, perforated metal. Yeah, there we go. I knew she would... And this is what what my idea was was to make a bunch take the stencils that I have so this, shrink them down. So this was attempt number one of <laughs> taking this one and miniaturizing it. I'm not sure. And I told her yeah, that oh, yeah, you know oh, we yeah. were going to have it issues. Was just, it was just part of it. Can you see? Well, we certainly did have some issues, but part of it is this is this Yupo paper. Off brand. Okay, so it this is perfect seg it's perfect horrible. segue into I have notes. She has notes. Okay. I'll just 
you know, pulling stuff out and looking at stuff. <laughs> It is actually not available right now because I was checking prices this morning because I'm well, just kind of curious if, you know, we were going to talk about it. But anyway, the 12 by 12 sheets, it's Nara is the um, brand. And I think I have it in, in the description. If I don't, I will put it in there. Um, it's kind of a, what is it, like a... It's off brand of you yeah it has a weird coating we don't love that because then if you, you do have to punch out any of your pieces of your stencil it's te it tears which then is going to cause some you know it, it's not a nice even surface which you know may or may not be a big deal but it does like thin out so it's kind of weird um so we don't really love it, and it's much thicker, so then it requires more cutting. Whereas the Yupo is like the perfect, I mean, it's almost the thickness of paper or a cardstock. So I think I'm going to eventually, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, this next week, Cameo 4 with the 3 millimeter blade is going to be my saving, you know, grace. Yeah, we'll, we'll let, you, let you know. We'll let you know. But anyway, I did find, I know she's so, God, she's, I, I feel her over here just twitching. Um, <laughs> she just can't, like, it's making me crazy. So, Legion Yupo polypropylene, we usually get the 9x12 in a, like, tear-off type um, pad. That's perfect. It's 104 pound, 9x12, you get 15 sheets. I mean, it's a bit pricey. Um, I think it's around $17 for that pad. But, you know, overall, we love this stuff. I found out here, listen to this. <gasps> they have, you can get it on a roll, a 30-inch roll that is then 10 yards for $87. I haven't worked out the math on that, but I'm assuming it's a lot better priced than the $17.53 for the little sheets. Plus then, like if you cut it down, you can get... A lot of different sizes and we may be able to get the 12 by 12 that we want oh Listen that, that would be wonderful i did that this morning before things went chaotic okay. so those are the things i'm gonna pop that into the description after i edit and do things to this video that need to be done to this live stream and i'll make sure that i have all of those things listed there and maybe with some of those notes about you know that some stuff isn't available right now but you know these are the options there you go. That's the paper stuff. And it's very important. You might, it is. You might think it's not important. I now. didn't even list the acetate because we don't like using it. It's stiff. It slides around. If your mat isn't super, super sticky, which a lot of times ours are not, they don't work. Whereas the Yupo, it's still, it's quite, it, I mean, even if you have a barely amount of stick on your mat, it will, it sticks down and cuts. Okay. Now. After it's a nice show. All the, it will cut. Yeah, it will cut. Okay. <laughs> all that you see in front of you here are hand cut. I did them with file folders. And then they've had enough um, they runs have through enough the... Between my spray painting projects and using them, they're well coated. Do you need your notes? You want to refer to your notes real quick? I don't know. Do I? Well, these were the very important notes that you... My very important notes. Yes, that we had to find this morning. So, okay. Yes, I thank See? you, Mariah. Because, <laughs> yeah, these are called masks. Okay, what is a mask? Well, it hides things. It you get your image because of what you're blocking out, rather than what you're actively. And this may seem obvious to some, but we still struggle I, oh with this gosh. whole... Well, this is why we ended up with all these things <laughs> that have strings on them. It's because it's... I, I, I have a really T taking hard time thing, spatially. Taking things from a two-dimensional or digital world into then creating something that is going to... You're, an object that you're going to interact with kind of blows our mind sometimes. And I, I just, I mean, I, I really do. I, I don't know if it's like the way my brain is wired. I, some people obviously have no problems with this whatsoever. But I, I do, and I, I will talk about That's it more. That's good. So. good note. Thanks, Robin. What did you say? Use a spritz of basting 
spray on the back of your material and it won't stick to the mat perfectly. I don't know what basting spray is, but I, I will look it up. I don't, I don't know either. I mean, I know that there's that um, pixie spray stuff that people talk about. Well, th this is an old mat that we Yeah, use. I just give them to P and she does things with them. We use them for filing. And and the, really, there's just a, there's enough sticky there. And the reason I have this is because I'm going to put it aside, but when I get ready to start spraying, I'm going to ask Mariah to hand it back to me, and then we will use it. See, we promise we're going to actually spray things today. Yeah, we, we really <laughs> we really are. But really now, are. I'm going to ask you to okay. hold that because I don't want that to go into the archaeological dig over here. Okay. Okay, now, where are my notes? Did I take my notes away? Oh, goodness, lady. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, has Karen showed up yet? Karen, Karen, let us know if you're here. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't see you unless you talk. Okay, Mariah addressed the thickness of the skin, of the Different, yes, materials. Using. And it's, the reason that's really important when on you're... On gel plate. On, on the gel plate is if you're trying to get a good impression and you want to work your, your paper down in there, the thicker paper probably is not your best bet. When you're getting using the modeling paste and scraping it across there, and you want a bit of thickness thickness in your stencil so it makes a thicker pattern, then you know those are those are factors to consider. Really, what you want to do is add, there, there should, maybe we should create this. This would be hilarious. So there's a timeline of a stencil, and if you start out with Yupo paper, which is the greatest thickness for a brand new one to use on the gel plate then once paint has been built up because we don't clean our stencils because we can cut more or do whatever and they transition into other things anyway then once they become really thick like this then they become your paste yep. <laughs> stencil it, it really it is worked it's out so like true. that and i <laughs> it's the know, evolution this, this of a stencil this used to all be together somehow or other, but anyway, I... I oh, apart. hello, Becky! And then, you know, th these were... This was our first stencil, our first flower stencil. No, that's not true. Yes. Yes, uh, it was. Okay, now yeah. here's some of this flimsy... Oh. Acetate I mean, stuff. I still use this. You can see. I, I still use it. It's just... It's it, harder to use. It... When it goes through... And it's really slick, like, on the... Yeah. It, it isn't a material that I would recommend using for a stencil. For I, I don't I wouldn't use it on my gel plate because I think right, it's, stop flopping around here. Yeah, making okay. the camera crazy. Okay, is it making the camera crazy? Mm -hmm. All right, now here is and I I use this a lot. You can see, but I have discovered some other things. So Mariah, oh, it's in the quilting section. So it's like um for for fabric. Yeah. I use Sulky. Is that right? Man, I'm having a eyeball moment today. Okay, I'm just going to clip this up here. So there you go. Look at that. Using her little yeah. box. Okay, now where are we? All, All right. right. <laughs> so, stenciling using sprays. All right, we're, I think we're almost to the point where we're going to start <laughs> spraying something. And I was hoping that Karen showed up because once I start spraying on this thing, I'm not going to want to take it apart until I'm Why don't we just finished. talk about it? Because I would say if she was going to be here, she'd be here. Okay, Karen? Karen? Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. And if you show up, I'm going to say you're going to have to watch the reruns. Yes. And it was a painful morning. <laughs> it was a painful, it, it has been a very painful morning. It's been a very painful week. Okay, so, anyway, this thing right here is what I put down to do my, whatever, stenciling. All right, you're, ta you're talking about the box. Oh, the box, that's why I'm getting rid of all this stuff. Okay, so, here we are. You get to see the Frankenstein part of the box. Hey, and I noticed that Tim Holtz, the other day, I watched his little thing, and he has something sort of similar. His is a little more, you know, compact. He does card things. We, we need a little bigger. <laughs> but yeah, we need a little actually, bigger I, area. I have these in different sizes. So. That's true. Travel but, size. <laughs> travel size. Okay, can you see the box here? It's this? just, I, and I just taped it together on the back. It was flat. I cut out a, I'd cut out a piece. A panel. A panel. I just took and folded this up, and all you do is you just take okay. your X-Acto knife. You're not in frame on that. Oh, there you go. Take my X-Acto knife and run it along there 
You don't scoring. make it go all the way scoring. Then you fold that back up, you tape it, you come in with your paper, and, and you saw the back side of and it. And once again, the craft paper on a roll, I'm telling you, we use this stuff for everything. Okay, can you see my little blue tape back there in the corner? <laughs> can you see it? Can you yep. see it? Okay. Well, that's just because that corner tends to lift up. We do have a good group this morning, Robin. We really we, do. We have our awesome people and repeat visitors, a couple new ones. Loving that. And the other thing about this, this bottom thing here then becomes. Yeah, that, that white. I, I save all craft of Craft paper on a roll. You'll see. You'll see more of those in just a moment. All right, are we getting are we getting yeah. ready to do some spraying? Let's do this. All right, now maybe it was a good thing we did a little pre-show early. Yeah, maybe that's what we should do from now on. If you want to show up early, we're gonna yammer about some stuff for thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and want to pop in at the real time. <laughs> yeah, that. And I don't, I'm going to turn this thing upside down because I think what I want to use here is on the bottom. Of course. Of course. I'm just going to pull all these papers off that I've collected to use for sprays and whatnot. I've well, seen things that used to be in my piles. Uh, I pulled them out today. I, I, think, I think some things have been, what, what do you call that, reappropriated? Yeah. 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 Well, if it works for you, I think it should work for me. Also. Here, look, I'm going to straighten things up. There we go. I, I like that better a little bit. All right. Now, you can see this lo lovely pristine. I think it's roller. It started out as a catch hey, and I am loving this stuff. The ATCs that I've been making. And by the way, if you are new to the chat here, or new to the live stream and all that, new to the channel, Give, or, hey, all of you guys that are currently in here, just hit that like button. Helps us a ton. Helps us a ton. <laughs> hit, hit the like button on the, on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Ring the bell if you want to know, be notified when we are going live and such. And drop new videos. Did two this week. We did our Carrie's prompts. Uh, I need my stuff back. So and, then, and then we did our ATC collab with uh, our good friend old uh, Peg at uh, Two Crows. Two Old Crows. Two Old Crows. Yeah. yeah. It's fun stuff. Okay, now here's the things that I told you I was going to bring back in. Oh wow! You bring it. <laughs> I'll turn that over yeah, so you can see it. I, that might have wow. been a, that, that might have been used been at it. the same time. <laughs> I just take these little things and just put them around. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, guys. Hither and yon, and I, I'm really, you know, I I'm creating. You know, it doesn't matter. I don't really like that one for that. <laughs> it doesn't matter until it matters. Yeah. <laughs> That's just, a lot of how she operates in life. <laughs> it really is. Unfortunately. Now that's fitting in there quite nicely. Okay, I just lay these down. Now do you need me to grab sprays or are you going to be able to do that? I think I can grab sprays. Now okay. let me start doing the colored paint. Okay, now okay. Mariah took, did you take away my color wheel? I did not, but I put it up high. Where is it? It's up behind the owls at the very top over here. Oh, good Lord. I can't reach that. I'm, I know. I'm looking. It's like an avalanche waiting to fall on me. Oh, goodness. I'll go get it. Okay. Now, this is where when you're using paper that's already prepared that has something different on it, you need to consult your color wheel because I've got blue here. If I put orange spray over this, what am I going to get? I'm going to get a neutral color, which another word for it is brown. <laughs> I, like, I like brown. <laughs> um, and now, if I want to preserve more of this blue. Yes, please. <laughs> preserve more blue, I will just mask out Aww. more blue. Lisa just had breakfast delivered to her from her honey. Well, our honey's well, our honey took our baby, so thank yeah, God. Yeah, we, we can only... And, and, the and then other, the other honey, I don't know what he's doing. I, I don't know what he's doing. But he's doing. being quiet. But We're anyway, happy about that. <laughs> consult your color wheel before you start spraying. You will be a lot happier with your spray. Okay, I do know that when I mix 
blue and red, I'm going to come up with a violet of some sort. And I'm kind of liking that. Purple. Purple. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I do know that if I hit that yellow with my purple, what's going to happen? Now, I'm going to get a brown. Here's another interesting thing, folks. Since this is, it is roller off, so most of it is going to be acrylic paint. But you see that this was also catch paper. So there might be some interesting little surprises that happen with this. Yeah, because I don't really know what some of that stuff is. <laughs> really, honestly, I, I do not. I, I'm not being disingenuous. No, we just, you know, it's, it's a grab and go. And, and this, woo, woo! Okay, and I told her, I said, <laughs> woo! I want you to make sure you leave me some white papers. Because once I start pulling off these little jobbers here. And then we decided, yeah, that a lot of times, like, this patent, or, you know, there's kind of a similarity to how you gel plate print to when you're stenciling and doing the sprays. Because you sort of need a, like what she's doing over here, which is behind my head here, up here at the top. Up there. She's just blotting them off. I'm blotting them off, but I'm, I'm using the... Can you let me take this other stuff? That would be great. There you go. Have a little even surface there. Okay, now, if you want to get really crisp, fine images, look at this. Isn't this just, I mean, come on, folks. Is that not wonderful? It's beautiful. I'm especially and liking I, this. And I think it will, it does soak into the acrylic paint that's there. You just want to, like, let it hang out yeah, for a bit. Yeah, because you can see that that's, that's still, don't be mussing with that. Now this over here, it's already dry. Because it's straight onto the paper. Yeah, soaked in and you can tell. So I'm not, I'm, I'm really, okay, now, I, I really, I like this part. Um, this is just kind of like, wow, okay, yeah, you've got some nice little whoop de do things. I would either gel plate on this, mm -hmm. uh, use it on the gel plate to pull a print with. Um, I can just keep going over this with some different things and lay these down in different ways so that I'm masking out some different stuff. You Let's could, just go ahead and do you that. You could blot. Because this is not like, you know. She could blot. I could blot, but now look at this. She's not. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm stuck down to my math here. Uh -huh. See, it still had a little sticky on it. But Ooh. this is wonderful stuff for then going in and gel plating. Using it on the gel See, and plate. it reactivated some stuff that was on uh, prior your, your mask. Yeah. Okay. But which, you know, I don't know. That might bother some people. It doesn't bother me. I don't probably care. Alright, let's, let's do a we've got pink going on here. Which is not my really favorite, and I, I don't want to lose this, so I'm going to go just put my paper down here, which this will be really fun stuff. So what do we want to do? Do we want to dull it out, or we want to... Amp it up. Amp it up. <laughs> Where's my green? Oh, I yeah. My green. Okay. Pink and green is always a lovely, I think. So what's going to... What do I know is going to happen here? Oh, the Felicia, good morning. Hey, Felicia. Sorry, I didn't see you pop in there. Okay, so I am I know ahead of time where it hits the white, it's going to be green. Where it hits the pink, it's going to brown it out somewhat. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a mask covering up some of the pink, so I'm going to get like three different oh, things going on here. I don't want anything to happen there. Pull these off, put them on my, that was a pat down, <laughs> that you heard there, a chunk chunk. I do like that. That reminds me when we were doing those hugs cards. <laughs> we had those crazy, that whole crazy set of hugs. Okay, now, look at that. Yo ho. Yeah. Look you there. Yeah. Well, uh, it won't look like that the next time you see it because I will have done something else to it. But, and then I've got this other marvelous thing going on over here. I think you need to bring in the, 
I don't think we have to beat this whole technique to, you know, over their heads, but, um, I think we need to move on to some of those things that have the paste stuff on it, because that's just more fun. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, can you just put those over there somewhere, and we'll, we'll, uh, I'll probably, now look what's happening here. <laughs> Isn't this just lovely enough? And if you don't think that we'll keep that and use it for something. I, you don't I, know us very well. <laughs> I will. I will use this. I will use this. Okay. Now, Mariah says we need to move on to... I feel like we do. Let us know in the chat. Okay. I, I don't... You know, I've just got to talk about this because it just cracks <laughs> me up. And so obsessed I know it just irritates thing. Mariah because this... This was... This was Mariah's journal. She was... My attempt. Attempt at this journal. And she'd taken all of this lovely white book binding tape and taped her little triangular journal together. Because I was making the triangular oh. why, fold. Why, would it, why was it not working? Well, it's too tight. And, and oh, then, okay. There so, so there's a lot of space. factors. There's a lot of factors. So she, I pulled, I thought, you know, okay, we've got some really heavy duty. And this is the, this is the cardstock that you sent us, Christy. That this is... <laughs> on. See? Oh, look at this back here. <laughs> She's so crazy. <laughs> Here's the more of them. Oh my god, I thought I lost oh. them. Anyway, these are all <laughs> torn off of that thing. And then I took and made them into a mosaic. And it's like parquet flooring. Yeah. But the reason I'm talking about this is because in between here... She wants to spray this, by the way. That's why she's talking about it. I, I really do. Spray it. Okay. Just do it. A lot of some of these guys have already seen this thing because she's busted it out a couple of times. I don't think I have. You all have you seen it before? Oh, Come please on. let us know in the chat if you've seen this thing before. See, yeah. Mariah, I I think she just thought mm -hmm. that. Okay, so now I I need a stencil. What I would like, Mariah, is the one the newest stencil. Okay. That looks kind of. Ethnic, I don't know. Tribal. Tribal, that's it. There she is, there she is. Because I think it's going to be quite lovely. Because it, it, it has a very batik or, like the African, what is it? Bouquet, Stamp. Uh, no, it's, um, bouquet or co something. Okay, if you know what that is, I know what it is. Uh, some kind of cloth. Yeah. And we did the whole Polynesian thing, and because it's similar, there's some similar. Anyway, if you know, let us know in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because our yeah, brains are not working today. Okay, I don't, Mariah. She keeps saying don't use any more green, but I'm going to use some green. I mean, everything's been green, green for like two weeks. Good, green is something that is good, and I'm I'm not I'm not getting carried away with my spritzing here, because I want some different things to happen. <gasps> Ooh. See, she she started using her sprays and stenciling like gel plate pretty. Did you hear that? I need to pick that up. <laughs> okay, now, you uh, tell did me I... that's not freaking lovely. Oh, Robin wouldn't know if I had photographed that before. No, but we could make more of that. This what? is not a terrible, like, terribly difficult recreation. The, the parquet flooring. Oh. Sorry, I'm just not very enthused about it because it, it just... Is, it reminds her of her failures. Yeah, and I, I'm usually not... Like, when I have a game plan on something, it usually happens and it, it goes well. But that was not a... That wasn't a good day. No. And then, you know, it keeps being busted out. And <laughs> it's going about. to eventually become I hope a, so. Let's move it on to something else. It needs a new life. A, um cover for a journal. If we ever, you know, get back to actually making a journal, God knows we have plenty of assets that see I'm going into my, you know, work job terminology. We have plenty of content and assets that we need to put together into a journal. You know, I don't really know what this spray's <laughs> doing. It's kind of wimpy, but Did you um, shake it? You gotta shake it well. Because it settles. It 
But I, I this is the flop Fabio. You um, don't from have Lindy's. to do this. What I'm doing right now. The ones she has been using are the stuff after dyes. These. This is a little bit. This is more pigment. But even though it is still sort of transparent. Okay, but look at this. Look at oh, what that's the, okay, beautiful. You, See, and you said I yeah. don't know what that's doing. Well, there you go. Okay, it does. It looks really good on white paper. Not so much on the buff. Okay. Uh, this one comes in really handy if you want to start, like, kind of fading some stuff out or adding kind of that watery look to it. Okay, notice how I'm holding the stencil, but I'm picking it up and looking at it Ooh. to see if I love it. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving it, but I'm not liking this end here. I, I need something on A this end. A little more pousy-wowsy. Yeah. You need to well, probably move to brown. Well, I was going to say, you may want to pick up some Mr. Huey's because you may run into the same situation with these because these are very transparent there's not a lot of but whatever coverage. she's not listening to me i am i am listening mm -hmm. i really am but i'm i'm not worried about it because I'm, when i pull this up she's I'm gonna do whatever to. she wants to do anyway that looks lovely i love the paper <laughs> sometimes my daughter's kind of a snarky bitch but that's all right i still love her okay so i'm, I'm going glad to i don't ever have the you know for kids <laughs> okay, so we Ooh. just now look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think that's lovely. I think I, I like that. Call that. At least this round. It needs to dry. It does need to dry because there's a lot of glue and other, you know, that paste stuff. It, it it's acrylic, so it's going to sit on the surface. I would highly recommend. Well, what paste did you put on that one? This is the modeling paste. This is, um, I'm sure it's a U.S. art supply. Okay. That's what I just scraped over the whole top of it. And see, it went down into the edges in between the little cracks and crevices. She sort of grouted it. <laughs> I grouted it. And, that, and I just, I think this Here. is really quite lovely. I like this one end for sure. It's very pretty. Kind of Okay, subtle. if I don't like it, you know what I'll do. I'll just go back in. Oh, man, just... that picked up some weird lighting and changed on me, didn't it? It was interesting. But we have this lovely piece here, which we can either leave it like it is if we like it. We can re-stencil it. I can put it aside and pull some, you know, pull some gel prints on it. I like that. Okay, let's okay. don't get rid of this quite yet. Oh, all, all of my little pieces and parts are sticking. <laughs> Mariah, can you take these? Don't throw them away because I think no. I, I'm really loving this and I'm going to do another one. See, I have leftovers. If some of you would be interested in these, I could send these to you. In a, in or a, all you have to do is tape down some chipboard and pull, pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> Get these, this lovely design here. But it's still a little sticky on the back, so they're kind of glomming together. Oh, jeez. Okay. Mariah's going to put that over there. My stencil is a little, still a little bit goopy. It always reminds me of, I don't know if you guys are George Carlin fans or not, but the, you know, the refrigerator man, you know, are we going to keep this? That happens around here. Are we keeping this? Okay. Yeah. Brad and, Brad and Van. Both. Well, they just set it on the they side did, of the did. sink and know that. <laughs> because they've. <laughs> Got in trouble so many times. Van will he will say, "Okay, can I throw this away?" Poor guy, he's, he's traumatized. <laughs> okay, so we're on to the next thing here, which is what are we going to do? Some stenciling. Okay, so I have used directly on gel plate prints. Yes, over used... paste, over paste. Oh, where's some of your gel here? That stuff, I think, straight up behind you. This stuff. No, turn, turn. This stuff. I think so. Hey, you made the stacks. I didn't make the stacks. Okay, well, this is going to just make it. There. That was making a great thing. Okay, this is um, a gel plate print that wasn't very interesting. So, we have some colored, which we're going to do some of this today. Colored gel. No. Modeling, modeling paste. paste. Thank you. Mark. So whenever we said in the, it was, it was sort of one of those things, like in the description of the, the live stream where we said we were using paste. Well, see, maybe some of you didn't realize that we were actually going to color the paste. 
Yeah, and I did. With, and, and she, she bought all these little jars, and so there's been more science experimenty stuff happening. Some of them are absolutely gorgeous. Now this blue is a bit like, eh. But. Hey, it calms down. All I gotta do is just rub some snot on it. <laughs> See, she, she knew it was snot. <laughs> But, you know, that's, that's going to be next week. I want to talk next about... Next week is snot. Next week is all about... Because I created my own. Okay, so what happened is, like, the paste transitioned into um, possibly coloring the tar gel. Right? Is that you what it is? You can't tell them all that. It's oh, a secret. It's my right. secret formula. Next week's going to be some interesting stuff. Yeah. It's, yeah, secret formula. We're not, we're not those... It's a secret formula until I tell them it oh, okay. about it. Next Mariah. week, stay tuned. We don't want to. We don't want to do a spoiler. Okay, sorry. Okay, I'm going to go through these really quickly Just because spilling beans. Mariah wants me to get away from the spraying and and whatnot and do the actual. Well, no, I do want you to spray, but you're supposed to spray on top of things that um, we did last week, which were. Yeah, well, that's the cards back over there. I don't okay. want to do that quite yet. Okay. All right. So, what should your stencil be able to do? It should be able to have multiple uses. And this is an example of it. You can see there's another stencil underneath there just peeking through. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and all I did was I put down the reverse of this one. See what I'm talking about here? This is the part that was pulled off, what you actually see there. This is the using the stencil. Then I put this down and used it for a mask. It's like one of these strips here. I've got it over there somewhere. And that creates that positive, negative, whatever there. Okay? All right, that's this stencil. And I do want to show this one because I think this one's really brilliant. And as soon as I do figure out this whole cameo for thing I'm hoping to have these up on Etsy either in a digital download so you can cut them yourself or um, as a like we cut them and send them to you all right now this one is one of those masks that I show that I actually used when I spray painted the these spray little the guys one. yeah so did the background that stuff in the yellow put the mask down, sprayed over the top of it, or or gel printed over the top of it with the purpley stuff. And, and that was some sprays, too. Yeah, it was some sprays, too. But you can see... Felicia likes the squiggles. She says they're cool. I know. And aren't those, that's really, that's a wonderful. I love that one. Okay. You got some stuff sticking. The, no, it's no, not really okay. sticky. Okay, I know this is probably just going to send us into the ozone as far as the... Shiny, shimmery. No, actually, it looks really great. I think. Does it? Yeah. Okay, this is just yay for me on lighting. A gel <laughs> print using, and it was supposed to be a lot more exciting, but it wasn't. So I just took my stencil, put it down, and smushed acrylic paint through the little holes. But isn't that wonderful? Was oh, that accurate? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This this little jobber here is like. Three different stencils. You can just barely see the one underneath, which was really not much. Then you can see this one. Alright, I want you to show us how to... See, this is where I'm glazing over. I'm like, what? Ugh. Just show us how something is made, lady. Well, I'm not gel printing today. Well, I know, but you're supposed to do some of the sprays over this stuff to see how it goes. Uh, not yet. You just calm down. Okay, are y'all enjoying this, or is this boring? Would you like to see more action? Here's... <laughs> The stencil used as a stencil. Robin said that last one was awesome. I think she was talking about it. It is awesome, and I, I do. I love that. Where, okay, where, where was this circle thing? What was, it was that? It was something that you that you used these circles that you cut out so that you could run them through the winder. Oh, that was when we were doing some. Yeah, it was just the part that we threw away from the um, <laughs> cutouts. Robin says she loves all the ones I hate. <laughs> Yeah, and Mariah's saying moving along. But look at this. Isn't this fabulous? Look at that. Uh, see, this is like when I start talking about, you know, technical things. I'm just kind of like, oh, my okay, God, are we looking at, at another that. gel plate print? Look at this. <laughs> I just need to know if I can have it and I can tear it apart. 
That's right, and it's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> she just, it, you know, she stabs my heart. Oh, look, this one showed oh, back Becky's, up. Oh, Becky, she's looking forward to us being able to have those stencils available. So am I. I I'm really going to try this next week to get this darn machine working. Okay, this is stencil on the gel plate, and then I took this little guy over here. You can see him on the wall. Can you see him on the wall? Yep. Hey, it's a good view. And did a green over the top. And I absolutely think this one. Oh, uh, see, that's awesome. Isn't and does it have some, oh, no, that doesn't have huh? paste through it. Now, what this, might be kind of cool is no, rubbing some of the is, color paste through there. It would be, because then it would add, add actual dimension. Yeah. This is just see, that I like. with the um, that should go over acrylic to me. Right. And I can then make some ATCs out of it. Oh, Lord. Here, Here now that, that you need to spray. Okay, we'll put that in the spray pot. Because, see, that had some of the paste on it. So yeah. it was gel print plate printed, and I think, no, that one wasn't with any of the color sprays. But then the paste was stenciled on, and yeah. now we're going to spray it. And that, yeah, you can see the stencil Sometime. in the background there. <laughs> Sometime. Yeah. Okay, we'll put that over there. I have a pot. But now this is wonderful. This is a positive negative on the. You should spray that one. I am not spraying this one. Too much white. Must be sprayed. She's just not going to decide everything. Okay, now you remember the <laughs> I one get to the decide barely anything. String, string things? I like the string stuff. I Look really at do. That. Isn't that just cool? Because it gives a lot of fade because it, you, it's harder to get, you know, even pressure on it, which I personally think is kind of cool. And so you get that yeah. different impression. It almost looks like those things that they do, they see in the desert, or like aerial views of... Oh, yes, of villages or something. Yeah. You know. Perhaps that's some kind of... Yeah. Okay, this is some of our printable paper. Now, you guys saw this last week, because we did some work to it yeah. when we were spraying. Yeah. Because it's like, it was wowie zowie orange. This is a mask, and I, I have it over there someplace. But I, I did a whole series, of, and this is how I do this, and I recommend it. Because it lets you right, I'm push that in. Oh, sorry. It lets you um, really get acquainted with your stencil, what it's going to do, what it's going to not do. But here's a double where I just switched it around so that you could see some. And of a this. lot of people like this stencil too. This kind of weird ampersand, which was <laughs> the it was a mistake because yeah. it was you know one of those ones where we were trying to figure out you know positive and negative space. What comes out and what does not. This was in Mariah's pile, too, and I took it out. It's oh, yeah, that, I don't, I don't know. Did you but, pull all this stuff out of the things that I filed? Now I'm going to have to refile. Hmm. Well, well, you know, I, I, I found them very easily. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that <laughs> beautiful? I do love that. And I think this is the piece de resistance. Because look at this. Can you see the ampersand here you can see some I think that one has this, this is like this is a brayer off. off catch and then it has this side see and i hate that i hate that she I has know, done awesome things this. to both sides so yeah we need to make a journal because that has to be a page because it I would mean, be a just a, a shame to glue that down to something i i absolutely i i love this and yeah i have some others that i have you know, scrolled off into my cubby hole. Okay, here we go. And I, I don't know that this is exactly successful, but the reason I love this one is because of all these little Lops. funny, you know, they look In like... In printing, they're called hickeys. Yeah. It's well, when something ends up on your plate that you didn't really want there, and then it gives like a little circle blowout. I just love it when something ends up on my plate. Yeah. Okay, this one is interesting, and this, I'm warning you, this will happen. <laughs> warning. This, sorry, this, <laughs> thank you, Mariah, this is why, you know, it takes two people to do anything we do at PM Artist Studio. That's right. Um, what I love about this is the stencil coating, which I've been using it over and over and over again, came off underneath this. <laughs> it's the surprise. And adhered to the thing. But, you know, that's one of those happy accidents. She loves that. I love that. I absolutely love that. Not not everybody will love that. I wish we had a coffee person. 
come I through did. and fill up our coffee. Is I took yours part? away. Why did you take it away? I might. Well, because it was right over there and it was bothering me. Well, can I you give you it back to me so I can have a little swig of coffee? Okay, this brings us to. I should just take over your coffee. Although she uses that. Stevia. Stevia. Hmm. <laughs> there. So yeah, up there on that. That's good. This has already had some stenciling done to it, but. Or not stenciling. I mean, the stenciling on the gel plate. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to definitely be a candidate for some. Okay, now, Mariah, we need to take all of these away. Okay. Just because I don't want to get stuff on them unless I want stuff on them. And I really like this one. A lot of your stencils are not going to work for um, spray. Spray. A lot of your stencils are not necessarily going to work for pushing the heavier well, body not, glazes. It, it depends on what you want. Let's just say, that, you know, not that it doesn't work. It's just that some work better than others and have more of, like, the preferred results that you're looking for. There you go. Uh, and, you know, I just... Don't be a negative, Nellie. I, I'm not being negative. I'm just being very factual. Some stencils... And her facts are not, not always everybody else's conducive. facts. ...conducive to use on the edit. I say, I say. <laughs> I'm just going to smack you here in a minute. Now, I, I really, I'm, I'm loving this. I do too. Spray it. I'm just really loving this. Is that some Izzy stuff? It is, yeah. Some Izzy stuff. I have her permission. I know you do. She has to ask, because i tell you what, that baby what? sees that you've used something. And you did not have permission. Yeah, you're in deep doo doo. Okay, we're back to the color wheel. What are we going to do here? We've got purple, okay, do so violet. Okay. I will do something. Uh, that's what this whole stack's oh, for. Okay, I'm just going to put it back over there. So, I don't know. Um, I could go over it with some blue. And it's going to intensify. I'm feeling orange. I want orange. Mariah wants orange. Can you? Locate me well, some so I don't love that. I know that, you don't love that. We need some proper orange. Well, you know, I I can mix some orange. Oh, we should have thought about that before we. Yeah. Well, it won't take long. It's called red and yellow. Okay, and well, I've here, this has just got a little bit, so why not? Sit so, down there, lady. And then. Okay, this is Rudolph, I think. Isn't it? I think you could still get that one. No, letter jacket. Letter jacket. Yeah, whatever. Oh, and here's some loose seal, but that's too dark. Okay, I'm going to lightly because, oh, good lord. Do you see what just happened there, Mariah? That happens a lot with the um, Mr. Huey. Okay, I didn't like that at all. That was poop. Get that out of here. Um, all well, right, if you, you mix know it what? with the yellow. We'll just mix it on the plate. Mix it in the, mix it on okay. the page. Mix it on the page. Yellow and, and you know what I like about Seth's stuff is his, he has three different colors of red. They were really pinks. But he does call the set fire. Look okay. at that. See, that was a good call, Mariah. And I, I don't know. I'm going to pink it up a little bit. Some, some spots. <laughs> He says it's weird that we're not gel plate printing. <laughs> well, we kind of sort of are because yeah, I'm just, going to. She's off the plate. <laughs> okay, okay Mariah, you're, you're not doing your job and taking care of it. Oh, well, all I've been doing is getting yelled at. I want to reach over here. I'm going to get. Okay, we are. We Ooh. are printing. Yeah, see? Look at this. See, you don't have to be on the gel plate print. To, you can be yeah. in the box. <laughs> and I just keep doing this That's simply really because, cool. you know, we're we're using our sprays to advantage here. All this is doing underneath here is pushing mm. the spray down into the <laughs> areas that it needs to go in on the actual stencil. Hey, good job on the coloring, P. Good job. Thank you, Mariah. I'm always encouraged by your love. I really wish I had my hat on today. My hair is starting to dry, and I'm looking. All right, puffy. I felt felt this move, so I feel like that that's it's time. <laughs> that's that's done for that. 
Okay, now, I don't know that I love this just right now, but I'm not going to do anything else Likewise. to it. Well, I think it needs some other things, but yeah, I think, you know, let that sort of soak in, dry we're, up. We're, yeah, we're going to let this, and you can see it really is not a totally crisp thing going on there. It's a little fuzzy, but that's what, it's you know, the sprays fuzzy. are going to do unless you have it, like, you know, secured down, which... You can use that misty spray, or and I'm just really jazzed about this. Yeah, I that's think this is awesome. brilliant. Here, see next to each other. But you know, it's good stuff. Good stuff, Maynard. All right, I'm going to move along here. I don't want to lose this because I want to do some more on this particular piece of paper. We're going to put our there you go behind the box. All right, now I'm going to save this one for smushing paste on. Remind me. I'm going uh, to save that one for smushing yeah, paste on because I already know. Yeah, we know some things that are going to happen with that. We do. But I'm going, I, and I really, I want to, to smush some paste on this too, but what I want to do first is I do want to get some uh, color down here. Before. So the Seth sprays are shiny. No. It's just, um, Robin, you were seeing it on top of, so that gel plate print. Yeah. So it already had the acrylic paint. And so it will settle in eventually, you, or you can, you know, hair dry it. But no, it will just soak in and, you know, be, it's not shiny. Not like the, the Dina Dina stuff. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm certainly glad I've got my <laughs> perfect shirt for this, right? <laughs> hey, yay, yay. Okay. Don't forget this. You know, I'm going to use a whole new piece because that was yeah. so lovely. It was. Well, and I think what'll be cool is if you start putting some, you know, neutrals over it, it'll be really nifty. And you see, I'm not getting anything because I didn't spray there in the middle. Look at it soaking through, even on the back side. This might be some interesting pages. Ooh. It's like fire. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. You know, it'd be pretty neat is like, so if you were using this for a journal, it would be cool to come back over with like some gesso and then that way you could like create writing space, but then still have that little haloed bit behind it. That would be really cool. Really, really cool. Again, I don't know that I, it, it's kind of. I think parts of it, but again, it's lovely collage. <laughs> Robin said she forgot all the stuff that we taught him. Well, go back and watch the whole video. That, that'll that help us. What? <laughs> Gives us watch time. <laughs> what, what is she doing? What? Actually, on the lives, it doesn't, but um, Robin said she forgot what she learned last week. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, Sometimes so did, we so did I, do. Robin. I watch my own videos. She does. Again because I'm, okay, this is, I, I probably shouldn't even say this because it's just like, oh my God, dementia has set in. And it may have, but you know, I'm a functional dementia. Anyway, I should go back and make a little highlights because a lot of times I can do that as um, like put in little tick times of like when we were talking about certain things. And then that way you could refer back. Somebody asked about making stencils using the Cricut or, you know, a machine. Oh, yeah. And I was like, no, Mara, we need to make a video. I'm like, are you that. kidding she me? Said, well, I think we already did, Mother. Yeah. Well, you know, I was not like majorly involved in that. So. Duh. Okay, so here we go. You can see this fluorescent, horrible stuff around the edge. That's some good stuff going on inside there. It started out as an Izzy, you know, one of her 50 yeah. million finger painting sessions. Okay, I don't, I can't remember. I think that this is a water base. And yeah, I'm so it's, it's it is going to, but now I'm not putting down. It's anything. like neon kids finger paint stuff. Okay, everybody got that. That's what it is. Okay. So I, I definitely want to, um, I definitely want to, you know, get rid of some of that. 
I'm not, I'm just going to use the brown. I don't know how well this is going to work. I don't really know either. But this is how you were creating those ones that we showed in the very beginning. Yes. Of taking away that white edge and really creating something very, very interesting. I love this. I like how that's looking. And even that the neon's sort of still showing through. But taking it back a little bit Ooh. and, and you know, and you grab gotta... another. To, you know, sop up the good this stuff This is like spray there. printing. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, now look what, yeah. Okay, I really didn't realize that this was a. A print. <laughs> But it was a good call. No, I didn't realize that it was quite so metallic. Uh, yeah. That's some but of the I... Lindy's Starburst in the brown, but I love okay, it. Boy, we just almost got a marriage going on. <laughs> Don't leave it on too long, because no. some of the, the acrylic will reactivate with some of these sprays. It starts to get sticky again. Okay, I, I, I'm really, I, I like it. I, I, I love it. I think it's... I like that a lot. Fabuloso. Okay. And it's, look at it. It's limpy. Ooh. It's so wet. That's so beautiful. I'll try to hold it up here. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Moving right along. We'll just pull this one over here. Because I'm going to use Mariah's favorite spray. I'm kind of running out of room over here, lady. Well, you know that happens. Where, where's that white stuff that you use all the time? Now? Pick it. It's over on the other one. Shall I grab it for you, kind of behind the box? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no, wait, here. Oh. Yeah. Shake it up, shake it up. Okay, shake it, shake it, shake This print, you know, I mean, it's okay, and it's interesting, but it's kind of just sort of green, right? Mm-hmm. But I want to hit some of these darker areas and kind of try to integrate more of the white. Okay, now, don't get excited. It doesn't stay that way. It doesn't stay. Although, that I don't way. know that we've ever sprayed it so much on acrylic, on top of acrylic. You know, I don't know that either, because it could, one of the things that probably happens with it is it absorbs into the paper. Yes, that is true. So. It's going to sit on top. Well, not, not much happened there. Okay, now look at that. Oh my gosh, I think that's wonderful. And, and the, even though this is part of the spray stains, this is actually more like the oxides because, again, it has the roller, it has the shaker balls in it, so it has actual pigment, and it has the same warnings and stuff that the oxides do. So I'm pretty sure that this is more like the oxides. It, it kind of has to be just because of its opaqueness. And just, you know, with those warnings, I have actually looked up some of the material data sheets for these things, but I am still on the hunt for that. I can find it on the ink pads, which again, actually are similar. It's okay. the same stuff. Discovery here. Look at this. Isn't that fabulous? That is. I, I mean, it's a I little Christmassy, but fabulous. Isn't it Christmassy? That's right. Red and green is Christmas. Okay, now I, I don't I don't like the outside edge of this. No, you need to get after it with that brown again. But why don't you use I I need... the Mr. Hueys? No, because it's okay. I I need I need transparent, so I'm gonna have to. I don't know. What are you doing? Oh no. Um. Oh yes. I, some... I don't want to lose some of my my wonderfulness. This is, this is here. <laughs> But I, need I to get uh, rid of that. Need Ooh, yes. To uh, oh, she's hitting these sprays heavy. This is kind of like when how she came up with washers. Is it? It was a lot of spray use. I mean, it was a lot. But look at that edge on that. That was pretty. Taking mine. Take down your box. <laughs> it's getting away from you. Yeah, it is. 
Ooh. Okay, well that's a little bit stark of an edge. I'm not. Maybe what we should do is create little feather um, that. We need a we need a rippled edge stencil. We do. Like a little, you know, fluffy edge. up stuff here and of course this sheet will be absolutely yeah. lovely later oh now see this is what happens with that stupid picket fence see what's happening there <laughs> it assimilates everything around it it grabs it and, and this is just kind of talk about poo poo but oh well it is what it is it is what it is Oh, changing well, it up already, a little. Well, we already have some pink down there, so I'm just going to hit that with a little green. Well, mop it up. She says, "Rip." Robin says, "Rip a piece of paper." Um, yeah, I, I could do. I could do that, and it would be. A but lot it gets less. really, like these sprays get so wet. I don't know how long it would last. It would last about you know like two rounds. And, and I, I do, if I, a lot of times, I, I just, you know, I was hot on the trail here and really didn't take time to, to do that. But yes, ripping it would be a, present hey, a lot You know what might work really well edge. is that, that NARA stuff, well, since it has that weird film. It. That's true. Now, I've got that up there, and I really, I, I absolutely love that. So I want some in a few other places. Okay, I don't know if I love this quite yet. It might be better once it dries, because again, it's going to look a lot darker right now, just because a lot of stuff is still very wet. It will lighten up, especially in those um, one areas where the, the picket fence is. I don't know. I, I'm done with that. I don't, <laughs> don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to do that I'm not anymore. dealing with that. Okay, this is, I, you know, this, this is going to be really quite lovely at some point. I, it just isn't quite yet. Now, are you going to do some paste on that, or are you just going to spray? No, I'm going to do some paste with this. Okay, so this Where is... Where are we in the, are we in a rush to get... I'm not, I'm not even going to worry about the time. If you guys want to hang out and stay, oh it's just gosh, one of those days. Stuff back there. <laughs> Good stuff. What are you, what are you going to do? I know. Well, I see it. It's just, <laughs> what's your plan? Well, I don't know. Why don't you grab maybe tissue? Do you have a tissuey one that will look good with brown? Well, I, I do, and I can make lots more of them. There you go. Where did I put that? Oh, it's underneath. Um, it's a tissue. It should be oh, under some of these. Yeah. Oh, here, yeah, those. I love using these. And, it, and like P said, it's pretty, th those are, I mean, one run on the gel plate with a stencil. Not, you know, anything. Oh, my goodness. See, look at that. Isn't that oh. lovely? <laughs> I, yeah, I love this tissue paper. I absolutely yeah. love it. It's tough enough that it can take it. Has the perfect amount of crinkle. Perfect amount of crinkle, and I mean, you you can get pretty darn rough with it. And just trying to get all of that Ooh. good stuff there. And see, this is the yeah, kind of stuff that Mariah <laughs> uses in her little. Yes, I do. You know, when she tears off those little tiny pieces. That oh, you, you too, Felicia. Thank you for stopping by. Okay. And we still haven't had Karen show up. No, I don't believe so. Okay. All right. Well, I did due diligence there. Yes. So. Well, and when I come back, I don't know how I'm going to edit this with the crazy intro and all that. Um, or I just let it be. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little bit of a whir whir. <laughs> This is a okay. Yeah, this is a one of our print our 
paper set printed, but you saw the lines in it. That's because and we need to print some things out on the Epson. But if you don't and you haven't cleaned the heads on it regularly, it gives you those lines. So I was like, well, let's not throw it away because, I mean, it's wasteful. We'll do something with it. So here's our something. <laughs> Look at that, Ooh, Mariah. That's some. I need some more tissue. Lucky, lucky. Cookie, cookie. Look at that. And, and I, I printed these on my big yeah. shelf light. Look at how it's got a little bit of shimmer in there. See, I got my lighting better on my camera today, so it's not doing weird things when I'm bringing it up to the camera. Okay. I can still feel some. Man, I hope Carrie's props have something to do with red and orange. <laughs> I don't think they do. I think I saw the little preview and it was some blues. You may want to throw in some blues today. Oh, well, I, I am Let's, going to because... Oh, yeah. Look at this together, though. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love that. Those are friends. I need to hide and that see, from look at this. This, we, uh, the, the printer was not working. I already you see the that. lines? Yeah. But look at that. It creates this wonderful pattern. Let's <laughs> get your box back. It's crept in. <laughs> You're getting floppy. <laughs> well, it's because it's getting kind of yeah. <laughs> wet. <laughs> there you I, go. I don't, I don't really need that anymore anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I'm not quite done with this. Hmm. Okay, so we know. I that really this want is... you to use some of the flat Fabio stuff. What is that? Okay, I will. But let me shake it really well. I shook it really well. I don't I'll go. feel like you did. I'm just trying to hit some of those areas where. Because it has a, you know, it has a purpose. It, it has a place in, in our. And you realize that this tissue paper, I'm, it's not going to print on the side where the acrylic is. This is the back side. It might, a little bit. It, I mean, because it, it it's isn't going to, a no. whole lot. It's just going to go. In the areas if there wasn't. But that's okay. Because it's still. Still. Lovely. Well, and you see it through. To the other. Side. Okay, now not much happened with your. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, it did. See, it's, it's subtle. So it's. It's kind of mucking out. Yeah. No, I like that. Yeah, I do too. So that's one nice thing about the the Lindy stuff because it is, you know, you fill them up with water. So it's water that's happening in there with a little, with the bits of pigment that you got to really, really shake. So when you use them with the dye sprays, either the stains or the dyes, it then creates that little color burst or water I call it water damage. <laughs> well, it's, if you do Look at the a, a water, too. yeah, went all the way through. And then when you mix it with something that you have printed on, like an inkjet, then it reactivates some of those inks, and then it creates that kind of mixture and mush, which worked really well with this particular print because it kind of had that look to it anyway. I, I'm, I, I call this a success. I okay. quite like it. Good for you. I mean, red and blue, but. Hmm. Okay. Mariah wanted some of Seth's. Oh, well, I don't know if it has to be that blue, but here's the Fabio flat blue. And then we also have the tumbled glass, but go easy because I really like the tumbled glass. Well, let's not use tumble glass then. I would really like a whole set of tattered rose and tumble glass. I don't even think tattered rose. Like, well, I found it one place and it was a bit pricey. 
Christy likes it. See, she loves those bold colors. Good. We picked the right sets for you. We're sending Christy some sprays. Yes, because she hooks us up with a lot of stuff. <laughs> she does. All those, uh, all those embossing filters, they're from her. And all the cardboard. <laughs> the chipboard. You know the heavy I... stuff that we wouldn't be able to get otherwise. I keep putting the lids back on. Oh, that's... I mean, why would anybody... Well, yeah, such a thing. Stencil's looking really pretty. Yeah, Ooh. It, it is. And I, I am really loving this tissue paper stuff. Yeah, Look at how much, much more, more interesting them. that is. Yeah, just by knocking out that white of the paste. So see, you can use the sprays over the paste, and then eventually we're going to to get to bringing over some paste and doing some paste work. And isn't this, I just think this is beautiful. I like this. I like the blue. I like the blue and this brown. I do too like that. I like that a lot. And we're getting this. Look, we're getting a really good yeah. looking thing here. I'm going to give that a little spray there. Yeah, you got to fill in your white space. Really, seriously. <laughs> Start working on some smaller pieces. <laughs> Ooh. Now, see, it makes me want to just take it off right now because it looks, looks so I cool. know. Look at that up here. Oh, here, watch this. Watch this. See, this is the equivalent of the brayer off being more interesting than the gel plate print. <laughs> the, the catch, the, the spray catch is, <laughs> is looking good. Ooh. Now see, look what happened there. So I'll, and look at the stencil. I'm telling you, we might, now I have photographed that one before and have it on file in case we want to like do something with it. So yeah, I may have to do that. coming off here, but look at that. Ooh. Isn't that just lovely? Now, let me just explain something to you. Mara, would you hook me up with a, one of those wipey things? <laughs> Um, well, you sh oh, because okay. my drawers, yeah. The drawers close. I'll have a bit, and I'll just talk about this, because, here, warning, this is a dye, see dye right there, D-I-D-Y-E, dye, that means that it is, pardon me, very, very strongly All right, pigmented. Here, and I'm actually going to, um, just go... Top view. I can step away for just a second. Okay, don't clean your stencil without having another paper underneath because you get fabulous results from I ah, damn it. Okay, well, okay, my so my stencil moved. I don't know that I can refine it. There we go, sort of, maybe kind of, I don't know. But I mean, even if it's not in the exact... Oh, that looks that looks so cool. But look at that. I had to blow my nose. <laughs> look at this. This is, this, this is just from wiping down the stencil, which you do want to do because if you are wanting white, pristine colors... Or paste. <laughs> or paste, and that's important to you, you want to get... This off of here because I will show you why here in just a moment. Now we don't operate that way around here typically, but no, I don't. You know, the I only time something's pristine is when it's brand new. that a happy accident. And move move along. along. I love that. It's so watercolory. Okay, I think the stencil. Oh, I probably just picked up another whole bunch of stuff there. But our stencil is stained. <laughs> yes. We have a stained stencil. Well, so that makes sense, because is that a Yupo one? Um, I think it is. I think it is, too, simply because, see the flexibility? So it will take product, like, that. it's meant for, a lot of people alcoholics. use it. Well, people use it for watercolor and watercolor, for yeah. alcoholics. And one thing we're going to try is the, um... Mineral paper. Yes, because we think that it is very similar in its makeup. Okay, are we ready to go on to paste? Yes, I believe so. Let's 
Move along. Move along. Okay, now that I've got this whole area out here contaminated with all kinds of stuff, I'm going to hand you that. I think it's fairly dry. Yeah. Yep. And I'm probably not going to use that one anyway. Okay. Okay. Put it down there with so, other stuff. you know, right, I should really move the box out of the way. Well, I, I need, yeah, you need to wipe up around. I, I need, um, the let's look at this. Just freak out. I, I need you to replace my paper. Oh, I don't really need that because no. I'm not going to be. And I, I should, though, spray some of the already, uh, I, Lord, all, the already uh, done cards that I've already put the paste on oh. are dry. Yeah, I should I should spray. So those. you want me to pull that off? Uh, no, just give it to me. It, it you know whatever happens happens here, folks. Okay. I know, but we're very in love and with. I'm that. really. <laughs> That's I'm what's really, happening. <laughs> what? We're very in love with that patch paper. It looks really great. It does. But it, if you keep the cards in the white area, or just roll me off, off a piece and, and I'll just put it on top. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I can still use that for something else. Just go top view then. Okay. And you can see this is a little bit shiny, so it's probably a little bit on the wet side. I will get my board over here so you'll have something to look at while we're fetching stuff. <laughs> But as you can see, this is a logistical nightmare getting all of this stuff together. All right, this is perfect. Do you see this one right here? This is because the stencil was not clean. That's white U.S. art supply modeling paste. Oh, I knew she was well. going to just <laughs> so sad. So sad. Anyway. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All of my little, my here <laughs> another Franken paper. Okay, I, yeah. I have I, I struggle ripping it off. I, I don't know why. <laughs> All right, so this is my colored modeling paste. She's not being nice to me. It's purposefully colored, but what led me to believe that was a good idea was the mistake that happened with the stencil being contaminated with spray. Well, and we wanted, again, to d test out something different with the pastes. Is, you know, part of the deal is, alright, well maybe you don't want to spray, you want your paste to be colored, but you don't want to mess up what you've already done, but you want it to be a certain color. Well, this is the way you do that. And you can do multiple colors Look on that. Isn't that things. cool? Isn't that? Little mixy yeah. mix mix. Uh -huh. All right, this is from cleaning the stencil. Cleaning the stencil. <laughs> Round one. Picking two. up what was left after I picked everything up on my yucky looking, where's my red? What are you talking about? My, uh. You got to give me more information. Okay, I, it, it's this, the folder that has a piece of red mm -hmm. uh, yeah. stuff in it, and it's kind of mucky, mucky. Yeah, that's there I, you go. See, that's just, it. Okay, yeah, here it describe is. things. See it? <laughs> okay, this is what I we, we tell it the old time. Modeling. You got to describe it. <laughs> Paste on. Okay, so w what we already know is the. Oh, Christy wants to know what mineral paper is. So uh, we didn't know either, and it was some video or something that you'd watched and you're like I want to check this stuff out and let me yeah. tell you this stuff does not tear and it's made out of rocks yeah get that rocks rocks but it's a lot like Yupo it has the same feel to it it smells a bit funny it does smell strange um like we don't it's it's not like a rock smell no but then it's not synthetic like Yupo so very interesting stuff and I do want to try it on the on the machine to cut it to turn it into stencils because I really think that it's gonna be similar and I think that the price wise um, what did I write down because I think I wrote that down oh shoot I didn't grab the, the mineral paper because it was off in a different section and then you know then the morning started just doing you know what it was doing which was 
craziness. Look at that. Oh, and that's pretty. We, we, we don't waste a drop. <laughs> Oh, Christy, she just she's, she's she gave us thinky face. <laughs> she gave us a what? Thinky face, you know the think thinking emoji. Oh. Oh my goodness! Look, it's getting kind of that. All right, so color <laughs> wheel. Bring the color wheel back in. What did I do with my? It's color so wheel? beautiful. It looks like a like a sunset. But you can still feel the texture. Now we'll hold it up to the camera a bit. Don't go crazy. Don't, don't, not see, that's the crazy zone. I need to, like, put a string. <laughs> Is that good? That's pretty good, yeah. Nice. Okay, and here we have this one, which we're going to go ahead and we're going to. Okay. See, number one, it toned down the, the blue, because, man, that blue is blue. The blue, I, I'm bluing it. Okay, did you see what happened there from, because I was far away. If you want one of these ATCs, let us know. Absolutely. Now, some of you that took place in the giveaway, we, we put in some ATCs. Now, not of this, or of the, of a previous round of stuff that we had done, but um, let us know, because we are sending out ATCs. I'd like to swap because we would like to get some of you guys' stuff, too. And, Christy, we got a stack of stuff kind of working for you. Ooh. I'm a little sad, though, that you got rid of, like, certain area on there. What green did you use, or did it just turn it, to green? It's, it's, it's green because I used yellow and blue. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you, that blue, and it makes some froggy, froggy green. Here's that other one. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're getting some good stuff here, Maynard. <laughs> so this is kind of two things. Number one, color or paste colored by sprays. And then sprayed on top of <laughs> with the sprays. And if you don't like this, you need to use this. I hate your hands are looking pretty good, too. Yeah. I like those colors. Well, I kind of tell what happened here. All right, I don't know. What do we want to do to this? I don't know. I want something different. Maybe start with some purples just because there is purple on there. I don't know. Here comes the rain. Do -do -do -do. What do you um, here comes the rain. I don't Do -do -do -do. see purple anymore, Mariah. Here comes the rain. It's probably la, behind la, 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 something. La. Well, here you got pink. Yeah, Come on, pink. color mixer later, lady. Okay, so. But I do have, there should be a Lindy's. Well, we have the crazy. Now that I don't really, that, that's so, so purple. But this one, the flat Fabio stuff, I really like it. Did you see what I just did? There's Robin's. Robin. Robin. <laughs> Robin. Did you see, you see that? that? <laughs> you see that? background there too now that she's it really helps if you take the lid off oh it does I, she gets you know, angry i don't have a hand coming out of her forehead she's she's working on that yeah yeah is this some more of that really wimpy stuff i'm telling you it has its place in the world i use it a lot well of course you do <laughs> okay y'all what do you think about that that's pretty wimpy huh <laughs> so weird. wimpy oh. colors Okay. <laughs> what? 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 Christy says, yep, I want original signatures, please. I want you to make it. You don't want us to put... <laughs> okay, now I need a double... Hey, they're all original signatures. She was listening, though. Because P had mentioned that. She's like, yeah, we should just... We'll scan them in, and then we'll have... You know, then okay. I don't have to here's sign a, all of these. Here, here's a very amusing... I think we should... Precise. We will continue doing original signatures. 
and I'm going towards the Pousy Wowsy one. Is this the Pousy Wowsy? That's the Pousy Wowsy. Okay. Here we go. Stand Here back. Here comes some purple. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Now, see, what you should do is go back over with this, because it'll help spread that. Here, give it. See, it, it gives the the water re- Oh, okay. Water okay. burst. I don't know. There's got to be a word. What am I trying to say? It's water splatter. The bubbling, the... Well, it's a wet on it's wet on wet. Yeah. Where it's, the water is taking the paint around. Aw, Lisa said she there. loved her ATC from us, and now she got one of the. Well, we sent one of the the oh. textured ones to Lisa. Did Lisa? Did you see our our texture on the? I'm gonna. Yeah, you're gonna have a blue nose. nose and... She's gonna have a blue nose. But even these little pieces that have come off of here. Yeah, now come on, this is some good stuff. Folks. I love that. Now, is it reactivating the paste a little? Because sometimes it does. Like, it gets a little, you can tell, it, yeah. it gets a little smushy again. Okay, I, I'm loving this. I'm, I'm done with this one. Ooh. I think I'm going to leave this one because I, think I can come back yeah, and do the fine work on that. I can, you know, do her little. I like that. That little. Look at this paper, though. Beautiful. See, and a lot of times that'll, I'll use that on the back side of the card. Okay, that sort of I think business. We're, we're 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 fixing to go into the paste. Paste. Okay, shall I bring those over? Uh, yes. Do please. you want another? I, I'm going to talk about them very quickly. While Do you want this it. piece of paper for your? I don't really. I don't really need it, but yeah, this looks great. <laughs> See, there we go. <laughs> okay, we'll just leave those out here. I'm going to bring this back in for a minute. All right, are you going to be spraying any more, or should we just put these back up on I think you can just, don't do that right now. Go no. get my stuff. Focus. Don't clean. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can see this, but this is, this is you know, basically all right, what, what we did last week. grabbing over here? You're grabbing all of the ones in the Play-Doh Play containers. There are ten, I believe, right? Yes. Okay. And my little booklet I've got right here. Okay, here's the, the, um... This is the one that Mariah said looked like perforated metal, rusty, rusty metal. And anyway, on the other side, I just cut out some old um, photocopies of artwork that we used in making our papers. So that basically is it. And you can tell here, I intentionally used the stencil that had had been sprayed and I'm pulling that pulling that out so that's an effect that you can get if your edge if you want to emphasize your edge then I think that's a lovely way to do it it sort of pulls that out into whatever okay now so everybody understands how to use the stencil for just plain let, let us know in the chat let us know in let the chat know. all right so what you have what I have here is I have a really kind of dull, it's not very, I don't think it is. I feel like it is, um, I think of lava. <clears throat> and you can see it's got some shiny, <coughs> shiny stuff going Excuse on me. there. But I'm, I want to bring something back into it that's um, a little more, Bring it back. No, I don't know. Bring it so back. So I'm picking the areas that are kind of really, really dark. And I should, I'm going to hand Mariah this. Oh, goodness. All right, it's in numerical order, so you will be able to. And I will tell you right now, I think I'm going to use. So, 2021 experiments, observations, and notations. I really, I don't want blue. Number one, are we going to start at number no. one? That would be silly. Why would you do that? That would be it's so just, silly. That's okay. just nuts. <laughs> I want you to go to page eight. Page eight. Tell the people what it is that we're okay. putting on here. Well, I know it's need, brushes. Yes, it is brushes. As I say, should we have had brushes out here? But I no, guess. No, all right, no. here's what brushes are they're watercolor crystals. 
you can get them. Brushos is one brand. Ken Oliver's also has one. It's called Color Burst. I'm sure there are others. Those are the two that we have. Okay, I need the what do you spatula. Need? The, the oh. Finish. Well, there's one, but I don't want that. Yeah, you know. Okay, let me go get the other. That one's horrible. Let me go get the other one. The other thing that you can use is a credit card, and I don't know I usually. Oh, well, I don't. a scraper thing here somewhere, but, you know. I'm just going to grab you your stuff. Yeah, because she probably doesn't want me mucking up hers. Well, I don't really have one over there. Oh. Right now. Well, I, I need to go through and, um. You know, I have this little thing, though, that's pretty. Yeah, that's, that's not what I I know. Mean. You're so anti my tools. Well, they just don't work very well. All right, now remember I told you on that one, and I, I don't know if we sprayed on this one or not, so there may I'll be, be interesting things happening some leftovers here, here that we don't even necessarily want to happen here. All right, and I'm going to go back to explaining. So at number eight is the Burt Orange Ken Olivers. She used this on the craft paper with the pearlized magenta in the background. Oh, where's your little card? Do you have a corresponding card? Uh, no, I just put it on the lid. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's the card right there. Oh. Ah. That's my sample. But you used this on the craft paper with pearlized magenta in the background. Also used it to add some variation to the flowers on the catch paper. Oh, okay. That That's referring to my... Your little cards. Yeah. Come on, lady. Okay, well... See, I, I, she did I, this like days ago. It's like, you know... Yeah. <laughs> but okay. we also made these little test things with our, because brushos are, they are really cool if you can start to understand them and then also release into the world that you are not going to understand them. Because <laughs> as soon as you think you have a handle on it, yeah. and not so much. Okay, I'm so. just going to turn this over. I don't know how much is going to be there. So even though this wasn't color sprayed colors, it was brushos. That's not working that great. I it don't love it. But it's, it's just got some, you know, some kind of stuff going on there. There's some stuff going on. There's some stuff going on there that, you know, it's, it's breaking up that space. I don't know that I love it either, but I'm already I'm committed. So we're going to reverse <laughs> this stencil. We're in it. We're in it. <laughs> we're going to do this. Sometimes you do just have to power through. Oh, okay, hold on, sorry. So, is the metallic shine from the sprays, or... No, this is from when I, I did, I pulled a print using... The iridescent, liquid it, text stuff. It's iridescent, stuff. and it had some gold in it also. I never just used one thing. No. That's why. That would be silly. No. All right, now that little bugger's going to stay placed there, so I don't have to hold it down while I'm hoping that's what happened. Because <laughs> my finger needs to go somewhere. I'm going to try to get the all all the outside of that particular little ugly little... <laughs> Christy says she feels like this may be too advanced for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christy, you know what? I just make this up as I go along. I, I really... Okay, so Robin didn't understand. All right, so I, I'm assuming Christy was asking about the shine of what's actually on that paper. It is a gel print, plate print on the base or you know underneath the stencil part there and you see some shine the shine is from the liquitex iridescent that she added to the gold what the artisa gold no uh golden golden gold and this so it's is a, the fluid golden not not the I, i'm not really crazy about the the heavier heavy body, body stuff. golden i'm just not i mean Okay, what do we do with the wipey wipes? Oh, I got that over here. Can you, yep, hook me up. I All right, I don't know that I love this. Well, I like that second bit that you did better. It's certainly better. <laughs> don't emphasize your corners. That's one of the things. Oh, she, it I, makes her crazy. Yeah. Sometimes I, I show it to her and I say, should I put this here? She does it. She does it just to uh -huh. get a reaction. Just to, just to give her a little. Oh, uh, okay. So now we've got this here. Oh, hey, Angela. Is Angela just tuning she in? She is. Okay, now I'm going to clean my, my stencil right here. 
on, on the on <laughs> see if the she gets thing. something better <laughs> than what's happening. Oh, in the paste, brushos. So the Ken Oliver's brushos, which are the watercolor crystals, to color the paste. Okay, not a lot happened there, but it's still, you know. And in particular, it was the... This is a work in progress. I'm not done, but I am done for now. Burnt Orange, Ken Oliver. And the cool thing about Ken Oliver's brushos is when you put it on... Yeah, you showed them. Yeah, I'm showing right well, now. Well, I have to be really careful because every now and then I have a crystal in there that hasn't quite dissolved yet. But you can see it is a neutralized orange. It's not like... It, it, oh, what paste? Oh, everything that she's using today is the US Art Supply. US Art Supply because it's the cheapest stuff that we have. Yeah. <laughs> and we have another whole thing. Of and it. we have a whole other thing of it. So, yeah. We have it the most, and, and it's the cheapest. So, and it works great. Okay. Papers. All right. Well, uh, that's oh. what I do. Put it on the. Let's see. Okay. Are we getting. Low on time. That, yep. A lot of people do that, Angela. But we appreciate you guys popping into the chat and letting us know hey, that you're here. We you, really you do. Should, you should really hang about for just a few more minutes because I've got some awesome stuff to show you here. Well, remember, we did start early. So technically, we just hit our two hours. But technically, we would have a little bit more time. Cause okay. Well, now here's had some what difficulties. you do with the colored. Yeah. Okay. But I want to show you the flowers because I think the flowers are, like, awesome. This is just obviously crappy craft paper that I've rayered off on. Use the st flower stencil to put the stencil down. This is a cleaning the stencil. Okay. Want to say hi? And then you got to go. Here it is. And I, <laughs> I, I wanted to spray on this, and I will. Hi, sweetie. What are you doing? Say hi. Hi. Oh, here's our other little artist. All right. They saw some of your of your artwork yeah. today, Izzy, because Gigi used it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay. All right. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> the um the paste, even with the additives. And this one is the yellow. So, Mariah, can you find that okay. one? Page. Referring back to the this, book. Okay, number five. Okay, number five. Number five. Oh, wait, you put two pages together, lady. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. Hey, I love how you clipped in the little things of those. All right, so that's the delusions. What did you say? SS. What is that? Shiny spray? <laughs> I don't know what her SS no, stands for. Shimmer Shine. Shimmer Shine. And let me tell you, it is some shiny stuff. So what we ended up doing with all of that. And there's that little, can you get that bottle over there that has the zero on the top? Yes. And I, I will go ahead and, and talk about the reasons that, that we stopped buying the dilutions was because it all ended up in the bottom of the spray. There's some high maintenance to keep them in spray form, which means like you have to clean out the thing each time and all. And we're like, whoa. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Way more than I'm. I'm up to. I. I. I don't. I don't even clean their noses most of the time. Yeah. But here's the problem: where the ball is, it never ever gets down to where the and stuff it, settles out. Well, and it just kind of like compacts it in there, and then the little tubey thing shoots like into that area. Well, so it really clogs it up. So the tube is ending right in the area where the stuff is collecting when it's sitting. Now, I guess so. maybe that's why if you stored it on its side, made sure your tube was up. <laughs> I and mean, there's just so many you're things. You're not going like, to be able to see that because I took the label off. Yeah, and this. the dark, yeah, the darker sprays, you really, it, it is harder to see in them. But anyway, so what we did is we took all that stuff, actually let the stuff settle. The, the, the mica, I think is what it is, isn't it? Oh yeah, and some of it was absolutely, dug it out. absolutely, um, Oh, bye, almost. Petra. Thank you for thank you for hanging out. We we appreciate it. I know that it was a crazy day, and I wish we would have been a little bit more on. But yeah, we'll we'll come back to some of this on next week. Yeah, because I am going to show you some other things. All right, here's our papers. With and now, see, you're showing things. 
Yeah, I know from next week. Oh, whoops. Okay, you can't look at yep. those. That's a surprise. That's a surprise. All right, here are the here's the white, and here's the lavender. And the lavender was created with the brushos. Was it? I think it's number eight. I'm not sure. Well, so the number five, seven. So the five that we were just talking about that was lemon zest. That was the delusions color spray, shiny stuff, but we let it settle, pulled off the, the stain part, mixed it in. So that's how she got the yellow. So then purple, the lavender, it's number seven. So that's the purple brushos. And that's what created that beautiful, just love that color. Like that's my ideal, almost periwinkle, but yet. Right. I just I love it. But here, look at here what happened on the printed papers. That's one of the things I really, I think I want to highlight is because you look at what happened there. Well, and let's pull it up a little bit because it's a little hard to see in the camera there. Oh, sorry. But you can see it's pulling up the ink from the inkjet printer. And, and we know this to be true. I mean, if you go back and watch any of our, um, when we tested all of our different modeling paste, and even um, this is true of gesso. Certain colors pull through more, and um, even with like clear gessos and things like that, with printed inkjet papers, it will pull stuff up through. Yeah. And yeah. one yeah. of the yeah. things is, is we're trying to figure out ways to use that to our advantage, to create techniques exactly. and looks that, you know, much like you see there in this. I mean, that was so cool. I mean, I made that flowers look iridescent. It really did, and the one that, that you're seeing... And that was the, it pulling color sprays through. This is number five, and it's yellow. And so you spread that, and then this up here... And then it pulled color through. Yeah, the spray. So it's kind of like a two, twofer. You, you use a color paste, so then you know in white spots or areas that the colors aren't there. Then... Oh, so Angela said she never even thought about putting her. Yeah, because we were thinking about ways to, you know, a lot of times you're trying to put color over stuff, but then you don't want to mess up the things that you've already done. So, yeah, this is this yeah this is a good option. Also, I went ahead and mixed up. I love that color. I mean, it's so this cool. Topi, topi, and color. that was what the that was Van Dyke Brown fluid acrylic, two drops. And a squirt of Arteza uh, copper, but what's weird? None of none of the metallic showed up. Well, no, but it, it did change the whole feel of. of oh, in the, the paste. oh, that was the thing too that we noticed. So, like I said, we used the dilution sprays in the pastes. The metallic, any of that shiny stuff does not come through so don't think that yeah you're not going to get that shine so if you're tired of those sh crazy shiny sprays you can throw all the mica that you want in there i don't think that it's going to show through because it's like the the paste um the opacity of the, the paste, paste takes over it takes like it just doesn't it. show through i i was kind of hoping for a little shimmer a little I, shimmer because I, really I thought that was. would be kind of cool and the other thing I want to talk about down here, and I know this is really hard to see. I, Mariah, you might be able to show that better over there. Yeah. That was the clear gesso used with the stencil. And it was so wonderful when we first did it oh. because, and we were just like, oh, oh my man, goodness. if that stays. That but that has led so us to some other things. Yeah. Some other ideas to... And, and that's going to be next week. So maybe this is kind of a good place to leave off. I think is it that is. We have some now new testing and ideas on creating show or you. recreating that whole look of shiny. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> of the shiny texture with color. And that's all you get. <laughs> For, because I, I do. And I, I'm going to do more. I, I've got. Three, I've got four different colors set up, but I'm going to do more in the um, the glazes. Yeah, so that's kind of where we're heading, is the Tar Gels three-dimensional Mod Podge. Um, even the Nouveau Dots we think are similar. 
I'm going to have some price comparisons for some of that because this is a way to kind of create your own. Something and, and shiny. And a lot more economically. Yeah. Something that's going to add color, shine, and texture. I mean, what? We can't get wrong with that. This is why you stick around to the very end. We're going to talk about the cool stuff we're going to do next week. <laughs> so those are the, our ideas. And what kind of led to that is using, again, the color sprays to start coloring things. And then Pew was like, all right, well, maybe now we transition because we have some of the Seth Isink ice stuff, which works similarly. So those are going to be the products that we discuss next week and using them in ways that we sort of have shown you that we've done with paste and stencils. We are now going to do with glazes, shiny, yum yum stuff that, you know, I'm very excited about. Some of it, again, ended up looking like snot. Just warning. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Or if you want to create that, that, you know, this is next week's going to be your video. Absolutely. Hey, Halloween, you know? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> green goo. Yeah, yeah, some green goo. We, we know how to make it. All right, guys. Um, Once again, if you are, if you just popped into the chat, please do like the video. That helps us big time with getting us out there into the YouTube world. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I think most of you guys that are here have. But if you're watching the replay, please do. We do this each week. And um, next week's going to be super fun. We drop videos all through the week if we can. Um, at least one, sometimes two. We're working on doing that more. And fun stuff. I don't know if Carrie's still here or not, but check out her prompts. She's tons of fun doing her weekly prompts. That's what we do. And who else? Let's see. Lisa, be sure to check out her channel. She's awesome. And she's the one that makes those really awesome wax dyed papers. Hopefully she'll drop into the chat her link to her Etsy store or over to her channel. I'll leave that to her to do. And what else? Who else do we want to say? It just, you know, thank you guys. Oh, hi. Yeah. Hi. And, loves and, kisses. Uh, uh, Karen, I'm sorry you didn't show up in our <laughs> chat, but if you were out there. Well, we'll send her a link to the video. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys again. Love you all. And see you next week. See you next week.